Time now for Real Talk with our friend Greg Russell. Greg, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to rave about uh, Le Cre <laughs> Le Cre right ahead. It Royal Oak, so fourth in Washington. That was, I'm smelling it. Delicious. I mean, it was transformative. It was so good. Um, <laughs> thanks for being with us. Thank you, as always. Good to see you. Good to see you, too. Uh, so, Alien Covenant. Yeah. This is what, the fifth or sixth movie in this franchise? About the do. sixth. Yeah, because you count Prometheus. Right. So, is this more like Prometheus, all like talky, big idea sci-fi, or is it more like Alien from 1979? More like Prometheus, because this is the second in a prequel trilogy. Okay. So it's one of those where if you saw Prometheus, you'll pro probably you know, know a little bit more about this movie when you see it, but it does stand alone. So you know, if you hadn't seen it, you'll still go out and be able to follow along. Let's take a look at a clip. We're making history here. This is wheat. What are the odds of finding human vegetation this far from Earth? Who planted it? You hear that? What? Nothing. No birds. No animals. Nothing. Now, listen, I do not have a problem with big idea sci-fi that's very intelligent and brainy what and you know, right. talky, lots of exposition, that sort of thing. But mm -hmm. I, I love the Alien franchise. I could right. not get into Prometheus. I watched that movie and I was just like, I, didn't, I barely even remember it. Right. Well, you may have the same situation, you know, somewhat here. Because like I said, it's part of that whole trilogy thing that's going on now to build up to the one from 1979. Okay. And uh, from what a lot of folks have said, the best part is Michael Fassbender. One of the downfalls is just too many aliens and too much stuff, you know, kind of like going along uh, in the movie just to follow along with. But, you know, hey, like you said, it's sci-fi, very special or very nice special effects. So you'll be able to see it that way. So how many reels? We give it three out of five. Well, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah, that's decent. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, it'll still do well this weekend, guaranteed. But uh, it doesn't have much competition. No, <laughs> right, right. It's up against the diary of a wimpy kid, the long haul. Which I love. <laughs> really, even with an all new cast. Yeah, and that's just it. That we were talking about that. That's one bad part about the movie is they always have to have a new cast because by the time they do the second movie, the wimpy kid's now an adult. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but this one's fun. It's uh, all about them going to visit Mima for her 90th birthday, and the wimpy kid, whose name is Greg, just wants to be a star. Oh, no, no, no. We we can't take this pig. But you're not going to let the little one keep it? A boy needs a pig. But we don't live on farms. We're normal people. You're saying folks that live on farms ain't normal. We just don't have anywhere to keep it. Ma'am, you won't let a pig inside your house with her baby, would you? We'll take our pig and go. So uh, this is based on a series of popular children's books. Right. The first one was uh, a hit, mm -hmm. so they keep making them. Yeah, and it, it's a very nice book series. I actually was talking to a lady in the green room whose daughter loves it, loves the entire book series, and also enjoys the movie. One thing that's going to make you feel a little bit older is Alicia Silverstone plays the mother in this movie, and she's not a mother of, like, toddlers. She's a mother of teenagers, and you're going... Right. Seems like Clueless was only last week, but that was 20 years ago. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I, a couple of the reviews I read of this uh, mentioned that it's a never-ending poop or barf gag. Mm -hmm. uh, is that, does that yeah, come into play? Yeah, from what I've heard, yeah. It's, you know, it's kid jokes or teenage jokes. You know, something that junior high school kids as well as lower high school kids, you know, will laugh at because it's the same stuff they do. So for some parents, this will be the long haul, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a quote one review. Uh, what giveaways do you have for us? Well, remember the movie Get Out? Yes. That came out? We have got this fabulous uh, mat for your front door. How do you like that? Can you imagine putting that on your front porch and somebody walks up and looks and goes, we're not coming. We're not going to stop here and, here and visit the cars. No. No solicitation. Right, right. I, would I, I need to keep that mat then for myself. We've got that, plus also something else from the movie Get Out is tea from Lipton's. And if you've seen the movie, you'll understand about the tea okay. and how that fits in. Then also we've got Cinetopia that is coming to town. We have a very special giveaway. Uh, pass good for two people to go and check that out when it opens up. And uh, all you have to do is just go online, you know, to our website and check things out, our Facebook right. page. Uh, our Live in the D Facebook page, go check it out there. And mm -hmm. the rules, as always, on clickondetroit.com. Good to see you, my friend. Good to see you too, always. All right, back